G'day Sagittarius, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as that now. See what's going on, hey? Oh, I feel so much better after that week break I had. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience, it's greatly appreciated. Um, decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. In case you're interested. Alright. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. One. Two more, please. Oh. Okay. Got them. We have, ooh, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Ooh. So it could be someone past life. You just feel like you know each other. But it could be someone from the past. And then we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Hmm. Seeing you wanting new love with you. And pay attention to the red flags that signs are cautioning you. Okay. So someone from the past wants new love with you but is worried about the red flags from the past. Mm, bottom of the deck, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. I think they could be worried about playfulness between you two. Being, you know, it was just going to be is playing with each other. They're hoping it's safe to open their heart. I'm very optimistic about that, but if it's not, they will retreat. Hmm. Ow. I'm painting my wrist there. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Let's find out what's going on here. Okay. Tell me about past life relationship for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Okay, I've got a bent card. Straighten you up. You were first out. Ooh, six of coins and seven of swords. Ooh, dear. In the past, there could have been breadcrumbing. Things weren't balanced, because that's not balanced. Which is standing out to me. Mm, cheating, lying, stealing. Oh, dear. Deception. Things weren't balanced in the past. Hmm. Dear. Ooh, Eight of Swords, yeah. Was... <clears throat> Trapped and up in their head about that. Mm. Very stuck in their head about what happened in the past, how things weren't balanced, and well, either they were cheating or you were cheating, someone was cheating, line still, and they're stuck up in their head about that. Queen of Coins, Five of Wands, Ace of Coins, and Ten of Swords. <clears throat> yeah. There was a commitment in the past, but, but it was a, there was a lot of fighting here. A lot of conflict between you two. They want a stable beginning here, but they feel that the ending was too painful. Whoever caused what. Oh, it was the devil card. Yeah, there was a lot of toxic energy between you two. But there was also a lot of love. Mm. They felt a lot of love, but they felt that things were not good. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, another card. Eight of coins. 
and the hermit. Oh, they've been working on themselves. Been doing a lot of work on themselves since they've been alone. Since she's have separated, they've done a lot of a lot of self work. Mm, all right. Tell me about new love for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. The fact that they've done all that work makes me think that they knew that they did the wrong thing. They were the ones that caused the the pain and the deception. All right. Two of Swords and the Moon. Yeah. They don't know whether you're going to want new love with them. They don't know what you're going to say. They don't know what you're going to decide. And they're keeping it quiet. But they do want new love with you again. Afraid you aren't going to be interested. That you're not even going to want to look at it. Hmm. Seven of Cups, ooh, also that you might have another option here. They see this as a bit of a fantasy. Possibly an illusion that they could have new love with you. Two of Wands, King of Wands, there you are. Knight of Cups and the Hermit. Yeah, so they're not really sure what to do here about new love with you they do want to bring you actions of love here but because they have done that self-healing but they're aware that you could just ghost them you might not want anything to do with them so they're not really sure what to do about you i'm just feeling that's your energy i'm not feeling anything else with that they want to come in and bring new love into you, but, yeah. Hangman. Mm. And the High Priestess, yeah, they're very stuck on you. But they're keeping quiet about it. Haven't said anything. They're still hanging around. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about pay attention to the red flags for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Two of Cups and the Strength card. So although they, they know that there's massive red flags between you two, the love for you is still very strong. <sighs> mm. Yeah, temperance, there you are. <laughs> Their love for you is still really strong. But they've also been patiently waiting. They know the red flags that's between you two, but their love for you is still so very strong. The Sun card, the Six of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Wow. They still see you as their happiness. Someone that they want to be happy with. Brings them happiness. And they watched you move on. They've watched you move on. And that's been a massive burden for them. Wow. Hmm. So I think it's all a bit of a secret fantasy of theirs at the moment. That they would could have new love with you. But... I think they know the damage has been done. That it's very unlikely that you would. They still feel very strongly about. Yeah. 
All right, give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Two more, please. Well, oh, thank you. Okay. We have indecision. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing they were possibly undecided in the past. But because of the past, they're totally un in, don't know what to do now. Anxiety, yeah, they're really anxious. Very stressed about the fact that they still have all this love for you. And heartbroken, yeah. They are a bit heartbroken, because the loves are still really strong, but they cause so many red flags that they've broken their own heart now. Adjacent possibilities, storm warning, yeah, that's like the tower, contract, and the healer of the ages, mm. yeah, they're trying to look for every possible way for this to change. <sighs> to balance things out with you and to heal this. They're looking at every possible way to change things. To bring back the balance and heal this with you. Oh dear. It's a bit emotional, this energy. Yeah, but they know what they've done. So that's, you know, at least they're not in denial. They feel remorse for what they did, that's for sure. Alright, tell me about indecision for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Wow, that's a lot of indecision. <laughs> okay, we have Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess, Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Moon. Yeah. Yeah, they're very undecided. Yeah. They want this to move to calmer waters, to move on from the past and have this move towards stability here. But they're not saying anything about it. They're keeping quiet about it. They want to come in correctly and work on this with you. But they're still burdened by the past. So they're staying quiet. Yeah, burdened by the things that were kept hidden from you. The secrets, the... Wow, yeah, they want to move this want to, want to move this to calmer waters and work towards stability with you, but intuitively they know they should have come correctly in the first place when you were first working on this together, so now they're left with the burden here, and that's why they don't do anything. They stay in the shadows. And that's why they don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Two of Swords. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. They don't, just don't know. Total indecision. The World Tree, or the World Card. The Oak King, which is a hangman. The Knight of Swords. And the Seven of Cups. Hmm. 
Yeah. They wish they could close out this indecision here, but they're totally stuck because they don't know what to do. They want to come in and show actions of truth here, cut themselves out of this stuckness here, but they see it's all just a fantasy. It's just a, you know, a, an illusion. They're really confused as well, looking at all options as to how to come in with truth to clear this up from them being stuck and close out the cycle, but they don't know what to do. The Wheel of Fortune, or the Wheel of the Year, and the Lord of Shadows, which is the Death card. Hmm... They're hoping in time things will transform and change between you two. <sighs> I'm hearing it's been a, a long time since this ended with the death card. It's been a long time since this ended. Interesting. Alright, tell me about anxiety for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. Wow. We have the Three of Cups. The Standing Stone, which is Justice. The Eight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Green Man, which is the Fool. So, yeah, they're really anxious about this. They want this to come back together again and try and balance things out here. Totally stuck in their head about this. Wanting new love with you and a new beginning. But they're, yeah... Really, ang a lot of anxiety about this. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They really do want to come in and bring love to you this time. Four of Cups, mm. but see, they're worried that you'll reject their offer, that you won't be interested in the offer at all. They're really anxious about offering you something. Yep, there you go, Five of Pentacles, because you already left them out in the cold before. They think they'll get left out in the cold again. The Earth Mother, which is the Empress, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Cups, yeah. Yeah, they think you're just going to leave them out in the cold again. They want to grow something, they want this to grow into the best love, you know, this long-term stable love, but you've already walked away. And now they're stressed about it. And stress that maybe you won't find it emotionally fulfilling to be with them again. King of Wands, that's your energy. And the Four of Pentacles, they're still holding on to you. Still holding on to you. And they see you as holding back from them. But they're still holding on tight to you. Ooh. Yeah, they want to heal this with the star. Tell me about Broken Heart for this love energy coming towards Sagittarius, please. The Witch or the Magician. Five of Wands. And the Knight of Cups, yeah. Yeah, they're really feeling broken hearted here. 
They want to manifest all new beginnings with you. They want this to manifest back together, but they're so conflicted about coming in and showing you love. Afraid you're just going to break their heart again. Yeah, they want to heal this broken heart. Four of Swords. They want to heal this. Six of Cups, yep. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. And the Page of Swords. So yeah, they want to bring back this love from the past. Yeah, they know in the past they had your love and commitment here. Something that was stable. They want to work on bringing that back. They just need the information about how you feel. They just need, yeah, they could be spying on you trying to find out how you feel. Because they do want to work on bringing this love and commitment back again that you've had in the past. But actually bringing the love this time. Um, yeah. Look, at least they're not like in denial about the the negative energy that, that there was between you two. Not not defending them at all, just saying. You know, I've had some readings where they they don't care. They just think that they can come and treat you like dirt again. But I'm not feeling that with this person. I'm feeling Quite a lot of stress and remorse about what happened. Alright, let's see what they want to say. They want me to go to this playfulness. Yeah, I think there was playfulness when they might have acted like a bit of a player. Cheating, lying, stealing, play our energy when they had something that was safe for them to open their heart to. They're optimistic about getting it back here, but yeah. But they keep running away and retreating because, yeah, they're, they're feeling the heartbreak now of what they've lost. Yeah, look, I'm not over you. No, no way are they over you. Alright, give me three cards at least for what this love energy would like to say to Sagittarius, please. At least one more, thank you. Oh, they've got a lot to say. Okay. We have, I was raised not to show emotion. I don't think they showed you emotion before. I don't think they were raised not to show emotion. Well, they could have been. Okay, they could have been. They just weren't very emotional before. They didn't show any emotion to you in the past. They want to work this out now. Oh, they so much want to work this out. Yeah, they definitely still love you. Oh, definitely. I just want to be single. I'm hearing this is they don't want to love anybody else. If they can't... I'm hearing if I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. If I can't have you. Yeah. And, hey, in the past, they probably didn't... Just wanted to act like they were single. Can't wait to see you again. Oh, yeah. They miss you so much. And you make my skin tingle. Yeah. Which I think they hid those emotions. 
and those feelings from you, but now that's all they can feel. Bottom of the deck, I'm always thinking about you. Yeah, they definitely are. I regret letting you go. Yeah, they regret a lot of stuff. I miss you. Yeah. I love you. Wow. Wow. They're really opening up here. Oh, it's hurting. Oh. I'm not giving them any excuses. I'm just relaying the energy. Alright. <laughs> Okay, I'm just relaying the energy, but yeah, they're, oh, they're hurting bad. Whew. Okay, let's get a message for you from the universe, Sagittarius. Give me one card for Sagittarius from the universe, please. What's the message for Sad G? Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, we have, have you lost sight of what is really important? Remember a time when life was simpler and the world seemed like a giant playground? Playfulness. Mm. Interesting, just waiting to be explored. Perhaps it is time to rediscover that world together. Wow. That's interesting. Some sort of deception went on in the past between you two. It's up to you whether you think this can be something that can be worked out with this person. Um, you know... This is a general message for you, so um, don't forget to have fun in your life. Don't be focused on, you know, if this brings negative energy, up negative energy from the past. Um, yeah, don't dwell in it. Don't forget to have fun, alright? Go out and have some fun in the world. Oh, this person's energy is heavy. Okay, bottom of the deck. Surrender all that no longer serves you. Exactly what I just said. Let it go. Um, let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. That could be what this is coming up about. So you can finally release it and heal it. Let there be space for new energies to enter. Yeah. A new beginning transforms darkness to light. Yeah. So if this is bringing up some old pain for you, um, don't bury it down. Bring it to the surface and let it heal. So then you can release it and let it leave it. Let there be space for new energy to enter. All right. Okay. Oh, it was. Yeah, that's a heavy one. Okay, I'm not saying you have to take them back. I'm not saying that at all. Just relaying the message of how they feel. <coughs> but yeah, if it's something that you need to look at, releasing within yourself any of that pain that's still lingering. Because you can probably feel their pain. Uh, yeah, it's a strong one. Be surprised if you don't. Yeah, just bring it to the surface and release it. Heal it and release it. So you can have something better come in. Make room for something better to come in. Um, yeah. They're really feeling it. I don't think they're going to come towards you. Um, I don't think they're going to say anything. This is just the energy they're feeling. They wish they could make it all new again for you. Have new love with you. Like it. You know, the past never happened. But they are in so much anxiety and stress about what they've done. It's breaking their own heart. But they lost some, you, Saggy. They lost that awesome Sagittarius love. So, yeah, they're in a lot of regret. But that's okay. That's how you learn. All right.
right, well, that's your reading, Sagittarius. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, be nice in the comments, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. All the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.